successful in this crucial undertaking. If truth flows out like water across the land, only if people understand, really understand what's at stake here, and only if you demand action. You, action now. Because it depends upon you just as much as it depends upon anybody in Washington. Truth tells a story only when it can be heard, and powerful interests are spending millions of dollars to make sure that the waters of truth don't flow on this issue. But real citizen action can counter that, even in this highly impersonal age when too few people wield too much power. I've seen it. We saw it a few years ago when Chairman Powell tried to loosen the media ownership rules at the uh, FCC. And these groups up here joined with some others. Commissioner and Alcee and I went, uh, went to the people and went to hearings like this around the country. And three million people, three million people ended up contacting Congress and the FCC, FCC saying, we don't like what the commission is proposing to do in the Senate. Later upon, voted twice to turn that back. Uh, the House was of a mind to do so, too, if the leadership had let it uh, come to a vote at that particular time, but then the courts turned, uh, turned those rules back. Anyhow, citizen action <coughs> can still work. You don't ever want to get depressed about it. It's hard work. It's uphill work. But our history testifies to generations of reformers civil rights crusaders, and women's rights champions, and Native American advocates, and consumer groups, and disability activists, and unions, and media rights defenders, committing to the cause, making a difference, insisting upon a difference, and moving our country forward. It's never easy, that's for, uh, that's for sure, just necessary. And this is one of those necessary times so what I ask of you tonight is to act like democracy depends upon what you do, because it does. Thank you very much.